If you're looking for some inspiration for your next web design project, then these six sites are my go-to for web design trends, motion design, and interaction design. So let's jump in. First up is godly.website. This is a relatively new addition to my list, but promises astronomically good web design inspiration. It has a good range of categories to filter examples by these different industries to help you find exactly what you're looking for. I find this to be a great source of inspiration for websites pushing the boundaries of motion and animation. Here you'll see less linear motion with examples of parallax, side scrollers, animate on scroll, mouse tracking, and much more. These sites show you how to bring static websites to life in unique and interactive ways. I'll leave the links in the description below for you to check it out for yourself. Next up, we have awards.com. If you're a web designer, chances are you already know awards. It curates and recognizes some of the best designers, developers, and agencies in the world. Here, you can explore different award-winning websites, and you can filter by these award categories. Expect some high production designs, as examples tend to be from big brands, combining different forms of multimedia, from video to illustration and game design. Although there is a lot of amazing work here, these aren't reflective of your everyday websites and feel more reserved for promotional websites or high-end brands that can be less functional and more of an experience. Off the back of awards comes SiteInspire.com. This is a collection of more practical everyday websites to draw inspiration from. You can filter by category, or you can even explore these different profiles of designers that you might like. Framer.com But isn't that a web design tool? Yes, but it also has a marketplace packed with high quality websites that double as working templates. Head over to Framer.com and go to Resources Marketplace. Here you can view some of the top templates, you can view by category, and you can even filter by all the free templates so you can instantly launch your own website. The marketplace has a great range of designs where you can preview live templates and explore page animations and different interactions. And if it's free, then you can also see how it's built. This is a great resource to explore both the front and the back end of web designs. I hope you're enjoying the video. I just wanted to jump in and let you know that my website is now live and it will have blogs, that accompany videos just like this, as well as free resources for you to grab. So be sure to check it out at shepherd.design. Now, back to the video. Brutalistwebsites.com So, a bit of a background. Brutalism began as an architectural style back in the mid-20th century. Characterized by raw, exposed materials, bold geometric forms, and a focus on function. In web design, it translates into sites that feel sharp and unapologetic. These websites often have harsh colors, sharp edges, narrow margins, and layouts that deliberately challenge traditional design. They can look a little bit jarring, but have a strong place in industries like music or fashion, where bold experimental design is celebrated. This isn't for every client, but it's a great way to push your design thinking. Finally, a personal favourite and an inspiration for my own website is deadsimplesites.com. This is the complete opposite of brutalism that we just saw. Dead Simple promotes sites that have no flashy animations, no scroll jacking, and no excessive storytelling. Just clean, minimal websites that proves simplicity can still have a huge impact. And just like it promises, the website is simple to explore, and the links take you directly to the website for you to see. So for your next web design project, be sure to check out some of these sites to inspire and challenge your design thinking. I'd love to hear what other websites you use for your design inspiration, so let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.